Hej alla månader ni och välkomna till Malawi Show Koi 2 så episod 3 Så var en lite late in Jlam I had this really good street fight around And when you're in the sauce and you're just keep playing And you lose it, super in the sauce Anyway, I think this anime is one of the best animes uh, This summer season is really good So let's go right at it I had the whole plot for this anime for sure uh, Let's start it I mean I think it's really good uh, Really really good, to be honest uh, And I hate overhyping stuff uh, So I think it, Okay, so last time we saw them become friends, right? Just kind of weird, but yeah. I know don't do that. You really shun them, yeah. And her. <laughs> it's like, oh, she's my first friend. <laughs> yeah, which is really weird. <gasps> yeah, it's like you should kiss her more. Yes, and tell me how it is. Like, I think my new wife likes that. Rare. This opening is really good, by the way. Uh, listen to it for an hour today at work. Um, which is something I usually do, right? Like, well, I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna watch this anime later today. So when I you know, get in the motion, right? So I listen to that the opening. It's like, yeah, this is a good opening. I can listen to it a few times more. This, this, uh, the thing is really Can I she, can I she, can I she? Yeah, it's really good ripping, yeah, amazing. I just realized my phone was like a half meter away. <laughs> you slow this. Like, I seriously really love this intro. Could be one of my favorite intros this uh, season. If we do see his classmate, I think about it a lot more in the opening as well. And I said that last week, he seems to have some kind of, you know, hidden agenda, right? And he's, of course, I think about it, he's in several seasons the opening, so... He's definitely something to do with his triangle drama. He's gonna be at the fourth wheel in this, uh, of these three wheels, right? For sure, for sure. Try and take his wife from him. Yeah, there he is, yeah. <laughs> she summoned me again. <laughs> Let's love this sensation, yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm a. Yeah, which is interesting. I have to get what I know the rules though. Can they use not marry if you don't want to? Like, that is confusing to me. Okay, Nisaka's name, yeah. Nisaka definitely is on. Okay. <laughs> it's like, uh, how does this miss well, my fault? What is Nadima doing? This is how they become best friends, I guess? <laughs> I called the cops, he said! <laughs> I took it a little further right away there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, I called the cops right away. Yeah, you know it's dial. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, listen, listen. 
Okay, so they aren't super rich. So yeah, it was crazy weird for this episode when they went through this like mansion. Up. Okay, so that was just a kind of marriage place to maze, I guess. Okay, I guess this is where they actually live, obviously. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh. <laughs> I won't disturb your kids. Just go in there. Just go in there. Oh, she's there, of course. Yeah. This is weird. <laughs> this is weird. Why is it like super enforced tree stumps she wants? Like, what? What did. Why is it Lily now? Lily now? Yeah, why too? Yeah. Yeah, she's like, awkward. I think I'm leaving. <laughs> but you like him! Don't you want him to be here? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I was like, eh, it's a little weird, right? A little weird. <laughs> what even date? You can you can take him for a while. <laughs> I like how she's like, you can you can do him now. I I can get him later. I don't care. This is really weird how she's like matchmaking here. It's like <laughs> tricking her, you know, her future husband to come here to like do his to go like in her room. She's she's a very good friend. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she's the perfect wife thing about it. Maybe she's a maybe she's the perfect wife, right? <laughs> she's like, ooh, you can you can cheat on me. I don't care. I, I like it. It's like yeah, not the rare live in wife. Sure. Yeah, she does crazy things. He's like, this is awkward. Maybe she's super bored now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like super bored. This is one of the Friends episodes, like what Russ and his uh, ex-wife. Ex <laughs> and he's sitting there like, um, I can't really like join them. They're doing this a girl thing over there. Yeah, he's like, damn it, this is actually really boring. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm with my future wife and the girl I like, and it's actually really boring. <laughs> you did? I forgot about it. You have no presence. <laughs> yeah. She's, I wanna watch. She has some pervert fetish, for sure. <laughs> oh my goodness, please. <laughs> I really want to watch. Oh god. Yeah, she is definitely into natural rare. Sure, like... She hurried up and do it. <laughs> the toilet is real, right? Okay, thank you. Probably not what you're looking for, but yeah. Ah, my TV, there we go. <laughs> you're being inefficient! I'm just trying to help you here! <laughs> we started to, you know, make it go more efficient. More clockwork, you know? This is anime, it's weird. This is a weird relationship anime for sure. Not just that, okay, we're gonna have like, you know, Married at First Sight, like those TV shows. No, no, we're gonna have this like really weird Married at First Sight with other woman that she wants me to do. Yeah, this is. Yeah, Lily Shani is weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just a, she's a great wife, a yeah, natural wife. Yeah, it's like a TV show. Huh. That's weird though. Do you still have that, that future? When everyone's getting forced to marriage her? But you still have like, I mean, I guess you would, but it's like... How relatable it would be to people generally, right? To have some kind of love stories when you actually have to marry someone at 16, pretty much at forced to... <laughs> this is awkward. That's good. She is very active as always, very aggressive, as last time.
Not a burn. <laughs> She's just like, oh yes. That's a kiss almost. It looks so romantic. I wish you could see your mom listening to this. I wish you could see your mom, right? And she would be like listening into the side, like, what is happening in here? Why is it two girls? <laughs> what is she want her friend for? Girl these days. Yeah, did she definitely have to go dookie dookie from that? Okay, this is weird. They both want the other one to, you know, like, do the guy they both like. I want you to have my Devana like. Like, uh, like. What? Yeah, she was just happy about it. But she has no interest in him. Yet, right? Not that much. Yeah, you might care soon, honey. You know, in the future when he's a husband. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Play with a weird... Life is just sitting in front of him now. <laughs> Breathing heavily. He's like, are you okay? I'm still here. Yeah, this is weird. I can see how it is weird. Yeah, thank you for it now. Uh, once every day. Why wouldn't you ask, like, kiss me is that? Like, I want to try it, yeah. That feels weird, it's only been 10 minutes now. Like, the half the episode, half minutes, yeah. Because it feels like there's so much forced relationship here. It's like, there's lots of happen in this anime for sure. There's a lot of drama. It's a big drama anime for <laughs> the little amount of time we have. Yeah, like, we have so much interactions. Yeah, Henna is the only thing you ever do this anime. Really? Talk to Nisa Galga. He is a tricky guy, you know. He's a guy that's doing weird stuff, clearly. He clearly is the, the evil person that I would say, probably. But <laughs> he's the, the, the bad guy, right? Something like that. He's <laughs> not a dog, but a well tamed girl behind you, yes. <laughs> yeah. She is, he's awesome. He has so weird, he's a weird, charming guy. They usually are. He's like, they usually are when I meet the girls. See, he also some weird stuff, but that guy, that guy is a trickery bastard. Yeah, he's definitely some hentai. Yeah, he's clearly a hentai. Clearly, this guy is a hentai. There's something weird. A good friend, you know, like, he's like, he saw the flash, but he was like, not shitty with the guy, right? But he has some, like some other guys, like, you took my wife from me, blah, blah, blah. Not really, right? but like, that kind of aspect, right? So... Man, I have zero trust in Isaka. Seriously, all the girls likes him, right? Yeah, this is pretty boy, the charmer. Obviously, he's even drawn as pretty boy. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely a big show on them for sure. But just like me, but yeah. But he's definitely something with him. He's gonna do something big in this storyline. The one to get married is sort, I suppose. Episode one, probably. Hmm. Well, you could cheat with a lot of people if popular. Like they haven't talked about if it's illegal to cheat when you're married or something. I guess it isn't. So, I mean, if you're super attractive and he is, you could probably do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is this? She knows something's up in it's a guy for sure. Like he should, he's very naive, he's very blue eyed kind of guy right there. Mm hmm. And I was like, wait a minute, Nisaka? <laughs> they have that, but they're very similar, actually. Yeah, same here, Chris.
Yeah, it's like, I think we're friends. No, it's like, he's one of my good friends. The second death seems like, I think we're friends, but maybe not. Yeah, I wouldn't really trust that guy. Definitely gonna throw a wrench in his uh, life for sure, for sure. Uh, what? She, I mean, well, I do, I do expect her to also be some trickery, so hmm, that's true, I guess. They're both kind of weird. Or not weird, but they both have some kind of alternative motive, I would say. Both Takasaki and Nisaka, right? Both of them definitely have some. Some planning. One kiss per day. You should do it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you should do the thing. It sounded nice. <laughs> it sounds like her. <laughs> it's like that's like my weird friend. Yeah, she doesn't understand. Yeah, this is much better. It's like <laughs> a teacher. We better get the vision here. <laughs> this will help. There is no way it's gonna <laughs> split us now. That's an unnecessary comment from a girl. There's like no way a guy would care, probably. It's like, okay. Yeah, she goes with it again. I mean, she's very aggressive, right? So, yeah. She knows she wants her man, so yeah, she goes with it away again. I mean, you have to wonder, you know, who sent that weird mail that she was gonna be his wife, right? First episode. I feel like it's her, and she probably cheated, hacked or something. Maybe it's Nitaka, maybe it's him, because he seems to have a third the power, so who knows? Could it be that she. Ask him to do it, I guess. Maybe he have that. Feels like it's either one of them or both of them, right? That did it. It's my guess, at least. Hmm. Okay, they're really going for it. She's seeing it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he has definitely some. He's gonna have some huge input in for sure, right? So. Of course, he sees it. If so, had to see it, of course, Nisaka saw it. Yeah, this, I like his parents. Like, yeah, let's meet this girl. Yeah, we have a new daughter. Hmm, it's kind of like confronting about it. <laughs> Except for dinner, that was a weird deflect. That's a weird deflection. Hmm, interesting, interesting. I can also imagine that he's actually uh, her husband, right? Like they, she, she, she keeps claiming, she keeps saying, oh, I haven't got my husband yet. Right, but they could actually be, you know, engaged, right? And they have some kind of deal that they can go be free or something. He has some weird stuff going on, right? So, actually, it's happening as well that she, uh, the Nisakan, attacks like Ashley is engaged. But he's like, oh, run wild, my girl, because then I can run wild. I think maybe, right? That, that I could see could be the uh, reveal thing here soon. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I mean, they definitely have something. Uh, I mean, for sure they have something together, right? And that, that definitely could be a thing. That he's actually engaged to him and he's just letting her do what she wants, she wants for whatever reason. 
Han <laughs> sleeper in us, yeah. Good way to wait, people, you know, if you sleep, sleep it out. He has this hour of evil, right? There's something wrong with him. <laughs> maybe he's a good guy, but probably not. Like, he seems so evil. Maybe he's into Neji. Okay, maybe he's actually into Boy Love. Maybe he's a Yaoi guy. Oh, it's that! It actually is all Okay, this is... Okay, no, this stuff got it real! Okay, no, it got real! Okay, he's actually into Yaoi. Okay, okay. Well, he could sleep against her and just like... Whatever. Okay. But still, he kissed him there when he was sleeping. I just told you, Game of Evil. Told you he had some, you know. Um, okay, so it's actually three people that like him, I guess. He has his wife, the girl that likes him, then he was okay with that, and then there's a guy that also likes him. Okay. <laughs> it's a pretty boy, this Michonne guy in the class that also likes him. So there's three people that likes him. Okay, okay. Stuff gets more complicated. <laughs> It is weird though that they have this thing, right? So they might be that they actually are engaged. And it's like, oh, I'm gay, so you can do whatever you want, right? I mean, this has to be something with, with them, right? Uh, not just that he is into Yaoi. I guess. But he might go both ways, but yeah. Or be strong enough. All the girls of love. And yeah, she's probably lying. She's lying on something, right? <laughs> but that was actually okay. I did not see that coming. That was that. That makes it even more complicated. So yeah, there's two girlfriends pretty much and a boyfriend apparently, <laughs> without knowing it. Okay, but still, I mean. There's something else, right? I mean, yes, the question was like, it's like, oh, he's up to something now. Okay, he kissed her and sleeping, so yeah, okay. Um, but is that, the, is that the only thing with him? I don't think so. I mean, he seems to have something more going on, right, than just being that he's like, uh... I actually talked about that before. What was horrible in the marriage thing that has to be, yeah, horrible if you're um, gay or whatever, right? If you're not conventionally, um, <laughs> so to speak, in this... You have to marry someone at 16. Hmm. Definitely. But it could, it would explain then if, if he is engaged to her and like, oh, you can do whatever you want because I don't care about you, so to speak. That would make sense though, in that sense. Um. But I mean, it has, it has, it has something else, right? I mean, Takasi and, and Nitsaka, there's definitely something going on between them, for sure. But that he also might have something, right? And even Fugia say like, love, or the loves, and lies on her, right? So I still feel like she did something with that male episode 1, right? And tried to somehow, you know, get with him, you know, really get with him as a lie there, right? Okay, so the marriage cops are back. Really, really, in, uh, really chance going for it. It's all the girls in the ending, it's appearing to finally in the episode. But okay, it's a four-way. Okay, it's uh, <laughs> very complicated. Very, very complicated. Um, 